Hi guys, Red here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new tutorial for you guys. Uh, you guys asked me in the comments of my latest video if I could create some working mailboxes in vanilla Minecraft of course and that's what I have for you today. So it's something that I really really loved. I really love this concept but anyways uh, let's go straight in the tutorial. What we have to do first, of course, we have to build the physical mailbox and this is quite simple. Make sure to dig two blocks down and cover the top one and place a fence on top of it. So make sure that the fence is placed exactly on top of this hollow space um, that I'm going to explain you why I made in just a moment. Now what we have to do, we have to do some command block stuff. We have to create a scoreboard. This scoreboard here is named mailbox and it is a stat.talked to villager. So basically what it does, it detects when a player right clicks on a villager. And I'm going to explain this as well in just a moment. You just have to create this for the moment. Uh, now what you have to do, you place a command block on top of the fence and copy the first command in here. So all the commands that I'm going to use in this video are can be found in the video description. Go, there's a link, click it and you'll be forwarded to my webpage with all of the with all the commands that I used. Now you, what you have to do, you paste it inside and activate the command block. This command block, what it, uh, what it did, it summoned a villager and an armor stand. And uh, I'm going to explain this as well. Now go on the third command, copy it, paste it inside and activate the command block. And that's it, you'll get the actual mailbox box. If you see that your mailbox is generated, I don't know, is not looking towards you or towards the direction that you want, is because you have to change the uh, data value of it. So you go here at the very start of the command and you change this value with uh, another value that goes from 0 to 15. So just go through these numbers, try 5, 6, until you get the direction that you want. Uh, I'm gonna stay with 1, okay, so no one gets confused. And that's it guys, you have the mailbox. Now I'm going to show you um, how to use it. It's pretty simple. There are some limitations, but this is because I added these limitations. So you can't put uh, everything inside this mailbox because of course you don't want junk stuff inside your mailbox. And I made the players be able to drop inside only paper, books and written books. And let's take one of these uh, as well. So what you can do, you can drop some paper and you'll, you can hear the, the sound of like a closing trapdoor. You can drop books and you can drop written books. And when you drop written books, everything you write inside is stored, so it's not deleted. So for example, let's say, hi Red, um, Eva. Okay, then you can sign it. Let's say, uh, fun number number one. Okay. Perfect. Sign and close. Now we have this written book here. You see how what I wrote inside. Drop it inside and it will be stored in the mailbox. Now, how do you access, how do you take the items from the inside of the mailbox? That's the easiest thing that you can do in this uh, command. You just right click, you, you just go close to the mailbox and right click. So as you saw, I got back my book and you can see fan number one and then everything that I wrote before, it's inside, nothing is replaced, nothing is deleted. And that's it guys, you can store as many items as you want, of course you cannot store for example these blocks, they will not be uh, stored inside the mailbox, but you can add them in the commands of course, you can add all the items that you wish guys. And that, that's it, you can store everything that you want, let's store all of this stuff. You can see now I don't have anything in my inventory. If I right click, I got everything back. So let's store this for a moment because I don't need them in my inventory. And now I'm going to show you guys how it works. What are the command blocks behind it? So if you want to reproduce this in your own world, make sure to make a pillar exactly the same as mine. Make sure that these command blocks look the same. To make this purple command block, you have to set them on repeat, unconditional and always active. These uh, green ones are set on chain, unconditional and always active and these green ones with the arrow shape are set on chain, conditional and always active. So you can pause the video, go in your world, build it and then come back. In the first command block here, well actually in the first three command block, we are adding some of the items that you, I just mentioned before on the mailbox scoreboard. Uh, so whenever the game detects these items in the world, it gives them a score of one on the mailbox scoreboard. If we do scoreboard objectives mailbox, you can see that I have the item, let's, let's take some paper. 
you can see when I drop one down, it is added on the scoreboard. If we take them, you can see that they disappear from the scoreboard. So this first one adds paper, this one adds books, and this one adds written books. If you want to add another item, uh, all you have to do, you have to change this name with, I don't know, for example, if you want to give to someone a stone sword, you write stone underscore sword, which is the ID of the block. If you want to see block IDs, you just uh, have to press F3 plus H at the same time and you'll get the IDs written in dark grey. Drop it inside, you can see that now we can store um, swords. Now the next command block here, what it does, it, it checks if near the villager, which is this one, this villager here is named mailbox. So what it does, it detects when near this villager there are items. So whenever items are dropped near the head of this villager, they will get teleported to the armor stand that is down here. Oh, by the way, why did I I summon this armor stand? What's the purpose of it? Basically because when you summon a villager, even, it, even if it has a no gravity tag, you can still push it when you go against it. And of course it will go out of its place. And when someone tries to click on it, uh, nothing happens because of course the villager is not there anymore. So what I did, I, I made this villager ride this armor stand so the player is not able to push it let's go back in game mode one and carry on this command block here you can see that is set on conditional uh, so what does it mean it means that it, uh, it will run the command inside only if the previous command block run the command inside so only if items are teleported to that armor stand this command block will execute the command inside which is a simple play sound command which plays the closing trapdoor sound and yeah, that's pretty much it about this. So if no item is, teleport, is teleported, this command will not work. Uh, only when items are teleported, this command block here will play the trapdoor sound. Carrying on on this command block here, um, what it does, it teleports back the items two blocks above. What it does, it checks when a player has a score of one on the mailbox scoreboard. Now, uh, let me just deactivate this last command block here that resets my score. When a player clicks on the on the villager, what its its score increases by one each time it he clicks. So whenever a player that has a score of minimum one is detected near the uh, ar that armor stand that is inside the ground, or all the items that are near that armor stand will be teleported on the surface. So yeah, that's the mechanism that, that will make the items pop up again on surface. And now let's activate this again. Then this command block here again is set on on conditional, so it will generate this time a an opening wooden trapdoor. So it's a trapdoor that opens. It plays this sound only when the items are teleported on the surface. And this last command block here, all it does is it resets the mailbox scoreboard of the players, so the process can be done again and again and again. And also you don't have play random players staying here in the scoreboard. So yeah, that's how everything works. You can store these items inside, take them back and have your personal working mailbox. Now, one thing that um, you may ask me, what if I want the mailbox be personal? What if I want only me to be able to open it? You can do it, but you'll have to change some of the values in here. And I'll leave them um, in the website as well. Uh, what you have to do, you have to find the coordinates of this uh, of this mailbox. For example, let's take the coordinates of, of the block here at the bottom. You can find it by uh, pressing F3 and where you see looking at these are the coordinates. Or just run a set block command, boom, press tab and the coordinates will appear automatically. You copy them, you go here and at the beginning of this command you paste these coordinates inside the square brackets. Boom, make sure that you separate them with a comma, each of the number of the, uh, with a comma. And also you'll have, you'll have to add radius equals 10, same, separate it with a comma, and name equals and your EGN, separate with a comma. That's it. So where you see EGN, you put, of course, your EGN for me will be the red engineer and hit enter. Now this mailbox will work only if I press this button. And now I'll be the only player able to, to open it. If the name is different, for example, let's say the red, my name is not the red, therefore I cannot open it. So I can still send items inside. Oh yeah, um, this is not working because I changed it with this word. So I can still send items inside, but when I right click, 
nothing pops out because it's not my mailbox. What if you want to add more than one mailbox at the same time in the same world? Well, between this command block here and this command block here, you, you'll have to add some other command blocks for each of the mailbox that you add. So to make it clear, copy these three command blocks here, remove the first two, and when you copy this, place this command block in here, and uh, go build another mailbox, for example, here. You take the coordinates of this block, which are, for example, are these coordinates in here. You go here, you change, of course, the coordinates with the new ones, and make sure that they are separate with a comma, boom, and of course you change the I, the um, EGN of the player that you want to be able to open it, for example, the. Okay, so all players named the will be able to open the um, the mailbox in near these coordinates. So that's pretty much it. Don't forget to, oh god, set this to conditional. Don't forget to add the last two command blocks back. So yeah, for each uh, mailbox that you add, you'll have to add uh, other command blocks between these two. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a really nice, let me, let me be able to open it again to show it to you one last time. So yeah, guys, this is how it works. Quite simple, uh, quite interesting, fun. And uh, I really liked it. I really liked this concept. I really like to have it in a multiplayer server. And uh, yeah. I'll probably make a one command out of this uh, and probably add some more stuff, but that's pretty much how it works. That's pretty much how it works. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did so, please leave a like under this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you all guys in my next video. Until then, have a nice week. Bye.